Elon Musk aims to establish a Mars colony with 1 million inhabitants within 50 years, making it a second home for humanity. But how is this possible? SpaceX's Starship, a reusable stainless steel rocket, will ferry people and supplies between Earth and Mars. Living solutions include domes, egg-shaped 3D-printed buildings, and potential subterranean habitats. Challenges like energy scarcity and terraforming debates persist. The journey to Mars starts with scientists, engineers, and a potential mass migration by the 2040S. And in this video, we will explore more about the ambitious journey to establish life on Mars. Transportation and Colonization Plans Elon Musk's dream of creating a bustling city of 1 million people on Mars by 2050 is no longer a far-off fantasy. The visionary entrepreneur is rolling up his sleeves, aiming to construct 1,000 reusable starships within the next decade to turn this monumental vision into reality. Imagine, 1,000 gleaming starships, standing tall and ready, set to begin on an ambitious journey to Mars. Musk's plan is to make these interplanetary vessels the workhorses of human migration to the Red Planet, a migration he envisions becoming a reality within the next 30 years. Numbers matter in this colossal undertaking. Musk's strategy involves the construction of these starships at a rate of 100 per year, reaching a total of 1,000 over the course of a decade. Each of these spacecraft is designed to be reusable, a critical element in making the plan economically viable and logistically feasible. But how will these starships be deployed? Musk's SpaceX has an action-packed schedule, with planned cargo missions to Mars as early as 2022. These initial missions are crucial, laying the groundwork for the larger vision of transporting both supplies and people to the Martian landscape. The Starship, a colossal spacecraft towering at 387 feet, is the linchpin of Musk's plan for creating a multi-planet species. Its capacity to carry 100 passengers per voyage is the key to scaling up human presence on Mars. The importance of these numbers cannot be overstated. The scale of 1 million people relies on the efficiency and frequency of Starship launches. In the grand scheme of things, Musk's timeline is relatively short. Over the next decade, a steady stream of starships is anticipated to leave Earth's orbit and embark on the journey to Mars. It's a rhythmic dance, with the goal of launching an average of three of these colossal spacecraft per day during the critical 30-day launch window every two years when Earth and Mars align. Challenges of Living on Mars Living on Mars comes with its share of formidable challenges, creating a demanding environment for potential colonizers. The Red Planet, while holding the promise of a new frontier, presents numerical hurdles that must be surmounted for human habitation. Firstly, let's talk about temperature, a biting minus 60 degrees Celsius on average. Numbers don't lie, and these frigid conditions are not something to take lightly. While there might be brief moments of milder weather, such as a maximum of 20 degrees C at Mars's equator during its peak summer, the cold reality of Martian temperatures poses a real challenge for everyday life. Equally daunting is Mars's atmosphere, or lack thereof. With a composition predominantly consisting of carbon dioxide and a volume less than 1% of Earth's atmosphere, the numbers illustrate the stark contrast. Breathing on Mars? Not without some serious innovation. Addressing the atmospheric challenge becomes a pivotal part of any Mars colonization plan. But that's not all. Cosmic radiation becomes a numerical concern. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a protective shield, and the thin atmosphere does little to deter harmful cosmic rays. The numbers associated with potential radiation exposure are significant, emphasizing the need for robust protective measures for the future Martian inhabitants. Gravity, or rather the lack of it, adds another layer to the Martian challenge. With Mars being smaller than Earth, gravity is only about one-third as strong. Numbers matter when considering the physical toll on the human body after seven months of weightless space travel. Returning to normal Earth gravity would pose its own set of challenges. And then there are the epic dust storms, a numerical conundrum. While wind speeds might seem manageable at around 60 kilometers per hour during a storm, 
the real issue lies in the dust. Mars, with its thinner atmosphere, experiences dust storms that can cover the entire planet. Managing this dust, both in terms of its impact on equipment and its potential health hazards, is an essential part of planning for life on Mars. CTA But do you know about the captivating mysteries hidden within Elon Musk's colonization plans? Hit that subscribe button below and stay till the end to know it. Potential Colonization Methods When it comes to building a home on Mars, simplicity and practicality are key. Two potential colonization methods stand out, offering numerical solutions to the challenges of creating habitable spaces in the harsh Martian environment. First on the list is the concept of living under modular domes. Imagine these structures arranged in a honeycomb pattern, providing enclosed environments for human settlement. The numbers add up. A modular approach allows for flexibility and scalability. Transporting one large seamless dome to Mars may be impractical, but stacking round sections of domes like a can of Pringles offers a feasible solution. These modular habitats could host controlled atmospheres, shielding inhabitants from the extreme temperatures and thin Martian atmosphere. A practical vision of life on Mars involves navigating within these interconnected domes, creating a familiar yet extraterrestrial living experience. Another ingenious proposal comes from AI Space Factory, suggesting a 3D printing technique for constructing egg-shaped buildings on Mars. The numbers behind this idea reveal efficiency and sustainability. Utilizing locally sourced materials, such as basalt fibers extracted from Martian rock and bioplastic from plants grown in greenhouses, these buildings would provide a robust, stable, and insulating shell. The egg shape, deemed ideal for handling internal atmospheric pressure and thermal stresses, is a numerical solution to Martian conditions. Vertical construction is also an advantage, as there's no need to worry about the challenges of gravity when building upwards on Mars. Energy Challenges and Solutions In Elon Musk's vision of life on Mars, energy becomes a critical factor, and the numbers behind the proposed solutions shed light on the challenges and innovations. Solar power emerges as a primary energy source, despite being 40% less efficient on Mars compared to Earth. The straightforward appeal of harnessing the sun's energy for the colony is undeniable. The numbers, however, reveal a challenge the reduced sunlight during dust storms, and the buildup of dust on solar panels. These factors necessitate additional considerations, either through automated systems that consume more electricity or manual efforts to keep the panels clean. Another potential energy solution revolves around extracting hydrogen from the frozen water on Mars. The numbers here suggest a long-term strategy, but the initial hurdles in mining for this resource pose their own set of challenges. While hydrogen extraction could be an effective way to generate energy, the energy requirements for the mining operations need careful consideration. Timeline and Opportunities for Migration Elon Musk's ambitious timeline for Mars colonization unfolds as a carefully planned journey, providing opportunities for migration from Earth to Mars. In 2024, Musk envisions the launch of uncrewed Starship missions to Mars, marking the initial steps towards establishing a human presence on the Red Planet. The simplicity of this plan lies in the gradual progression, first sending unmanned missions to test and prepare the terrain. The next milestone in this timeline is crewed flights, tentatively scheduled to commence around 2030. This simplicity in scheduling ensures that the critical groundwork is laid out before human settlers embark on their journey to Mars. The focus on simplicity and gradual advancement in the timeline reflects Musk's pragmatic approach to the challenges of interplanetary travel. As the years unfold, opportunities for mass migration from Earth to Mars could materialize in the 2040s. These opportunities align with closer windows between Earth and Mars, reducing travel time significantly. Simplicity in the scheduling becomes pivotal here, as these alignment windows serve as strategic openings for more efficient and faster journeys. By 2051, the culmination of Elon Musk's plan might lead to tens of thousands of people relocating to Mars. The simplicity in execution ensures that the colonization process is well-paced and aligned with the optimal conditions for interplanetary travel. Elon Musk's timeline for Mars migration 
embraces simplicity in its approach. From uncrewed missions to crewed flights and mass migration opportunities, the step-by-step -step progression aligns with the inherent complexities of space travel, making the ambitious goal of establishing a human presence on Mars a calculated and achievable endeavor. At the end, remember to comment your opinion on this, and also make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Meanwhile, thanks for watching.